Hi folks, I'm Chris at the uh, York Sony Centre. This is going to be the first of a number of little short video blogs and over the time we'll develop this theme and work our way around our different product ranges for you and give you sort of short little tuition uh, videos on the features and uh, specifications of our products. Initially we're going to start with cameras. This is a WX50, uh, quite high end in our cyber short range priced at 199.99 We'll take you over time through the different functions on this camera and today all we'll deal with are the modes. It's an easy place to start uh, and we'll just give you a brief description of the different modes. Start, switch the camera on, the little button's on the top there, okay, your screen comes on and most times the camera will come on in what is called intelligent auto mode, also known by some people as Muppet mode. Okay, In intelligent auto basically the camera as it says here pretty much takes care of everything reg with regards to the shot that you're taking. It doesn't really give you much opportunity to input any settings or particularly be creative other than in your uh, composition of your shot. So this is intelligent auto mode and with the dial we can move through different settings and mode settings okay and uh, in this little blog all we're going to take you through are these mode settings okay so as mentioned the first one's intelligent auto the next mode setting is superior auto which as you can probably guess just adds a few more features and it tends to sharpen up the image by reducing blur and noise as it says at some other in some other video we'll explain what noise is the next mode program auto so now we're in program auto mode and this gives you some more control over your settings and functions of the camera than pure uh, auto intelligent with the jog dial you can actually also move left right or up down by pressing the edges of the jog dial so to move down the column here press the bottom of the jog dial and it's brought you up other settings that are not available in full auto one of which is ISO and at this setting you can change the sensitivity of the camera to different ISO levels this again is a function that in a later video blog we'll go into in more detail so we can continue down and then the next one in the list is white balance white balance is often quite critical in the fully auto mode white balance is taken care of automatically but in this program mode you can choose the white balance and again we'll go through this in more detail on another little video here we've got focus where you take your focus spots uh, metering mode again possibly something that we'll cover later on so we're now running back up the list of the different settings that are available to you in program mode there we are in program now we've got so we've come back up the sidebar of options and we're now running across the top bar for, for our different modes but we're still in program mode as we move across <coughs> we've got 3D mode pretty obvious that shoot shots and then play them back on a 3D enabled TV um, and then probably the mode that people kind of ignore but should use more is this scene mode so we enter the scene mode by pressing the middle button and we get choices of different scenes uh, so the camera's optimised for certain circumstances. Here we're on uh, soft snap. So back in scene mode, different scenes, uh, anti-motion blur, so obviously re reduces motion and blur in pictures. Landscape, popular mode, give you lots of depth, would produce lots of depth of field in a shot. Backlight, uh, if you're shooting on a beach against a, a strong sky or a sun, uh, behind the subject you obviously should use your backlight mode uh, night portrait does what it says on the tin coming down beach for shooting waterside locations and pushes up the blue colours in those circumstances so we could go through all of these there's not much point but we've got all sorts of different potential scenes okay that you can choose from so rather than always shooting in complete program mode or auto mode it's often better to just think about the kind of shot that you're taking and choose a scene mode um, if we go back into the menu we were in scene we've now got another mode which is picture effect so now we're in picture effect and again you've got the choices of different effects that are added to the shot uh, by the camera 
and give you different kind of effects obviously in within your picture it's it's a sort of playful kind of option uh, really scene mode and using your scenes properly is where you initially want to be before you start playing about with this picture effect you can get a bit carried away and ruin your shots uh, finally background defocus this is very popular nowadays so you've got a subject like a, a person in the foreground and it, it strongly knocks the background out of focus so that the so that the subject stands off um, so those running back across are our different modes starting with complete intelligent auto which really isn't that intelligent because it takes all the thinking away from you and then as we run back across the different modes you start to take control of the picture taking process okay so that's the first of our little video blogs on modes on the WX50 range of camera um, in future little videos maybe every week or so we'll go through the different kind of settings and functions available on, on this camera many of which apply to our other cameras and then moving on from that it's hoped that we'll go through our different product ranges TVs, hi-fis, laptops and the like uh, and try and give you our potential customer an introduction to the uh, different products that we can supply you with here at York Sony Centre. Thank you.